Jackson, how have you enjoyed your spell since joining the club in January and, and what does the future hold for you? It's been great so far. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of it, obviously. After having such a long time out of the game, um, I found myself having to settle again pretty quickly, but the, everyone at the club has been amazing with me since the start and that was part of the reason I, did, you know, I made the decision to, to come to the club and, yeah, I've, it's been... Uh, obviously had the kind of tough defeat in the semi-final kind of early in my time here, but then we put, we've put put some good results together since and we're in a good, strong position to to finish third and that's got to be the target now for the end of the season. Have you thought about putting roots down in Edinburgh? Uh, listen, that's not really the time for that now. I, I feel like I've just done a pre-season like for the last kind of five, six weeks and um, I just feel like I'm kind of getting to my to my best now and uh, you know, that, that there'll be a time for those conversations in, in the near future, I'm sure. Have you given any thought about where your future lies? Not really, to be honest. I'm just focusing on... Uh, the main focus has been for me after 10 months out of the game of getting back up to speed and getting back to playing my best football. And I obviously wanted to get myself in back in contention for the national team for the March camp, um, which, you know, obviously is, is not going ahead now. But um, for me, it's just been focusing on playing my football and helping the club achieve its, its goal of finishing third. And, um, you know, as I say, I, I like to think that my performances have helped putting up, helped us, you know, get in the position now to be able to do that. You could be part of, of something special here this season, or couldn't you? Do, do you feel that? Yeah, absolutely. That's got to be the the aim. And the, we have to keep that in our minds kind of all the time, you know, even especially after a couple of poor results in the last couple of games, we've got to remember that, that what's at stake and, it's still ultimately in our hands and we've put ourselves in that position. And the reason we're there is because we are a good team and we've got the players that, that can, you know, can pull off, as you say, something special this season. And there's plenty of time left to, to do it. The Ross County manager this morning, uh, John Hughes, described you as a cult hero in, up at Ross County. What do you remember of your time there? Uh, I've got obviously amazing memories of my, of my time at Ross County. It was a, Huge building block for my career, um, coming off, you know, coming out of the youth team at Celtic and having a difficult loan spell at Kilmarnock the season before. It wasn't really until I went to, to County that I found my feet and um, the club helped, you know, progress me into the player that I've kind of become since then. And um, yeah, obviously I've got, we, we, we achieved some fantastic things during my time at the club. And yeah, obviously I've got very fond memories of, of those two seasons and and what that meant has meant for my career going on on since then. I mean, they seem to have a, a huge turnover of players year on year, but they still manage to, to do the business and stay in the league. Yeah, there's, you know, that's testament to the people behind the scenes. And, um, you know, from the minute I was up, I went up there, I was made to feel unbelievably welcome. It's, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant place to, to play your football. And um, as you say, it's not always you do. I remember when I first signed the first few games I played in kind of the August, September time. And then we looked, we had played a game in January, um, kind of at the end of January. And I think there was two players or something from that, that 11. It, it can happen, but um, yeah, they always seem to, to find a way. And, um, you know, obviously it's uh, from a you know, personal point of view, I, I always hope that they, they see them, in the top division. I know you've just returned to, to Scottish football as such. Are you surprised to see them down and struggling at the moment? Um, yeah, listen, it's, it's always difficult. Um, you know, for those clubs, it's about just spells of form at the right times. I've been there myself. Um, you know, obviously, the, the structure of the league tends to always kind of have a, a similar pattern. Um, it's just about putting a run of results together at the right time and then you, know, you want to put yourself in a good position going into the last five games in the split, which is always key. It doesn't matter what year it is. There's always, for, for the bottom and top six teams, the, those final five games against the team around you can kind of be the one that that kind of uh, secures your safety or, or, or finds yourself in the, in the bottom two positions. Oh, yeah, um, yeah just, just going back to something you said earlier, you said you, you, you feel like uh, you've almost been in pre-season since you joined. I think you've started um, every game since you have played. You must be doing something right. Yeah, I, I suppose I, I say that in terms of like a timing point of view. Uh, in terms of my actual fitness, I've, I've, I was very lucky that I had great support um, from people behind the scenes with the national team and some ex-hull people to keep myself in good condition over the time I was out of 
without a club and it meant that it didn't take me long to get you know back into the full flow um and yeah I've, I've, I've started every game since since I've been here and um I found myself getting stronger with my through my performances I felt physically and you know in terms of the speed of adjusting to the speed of the game and um, yeah, listen, I've, I've, I've been very pleased with, with my contributions uh, so far on and off the field since I came to the club. And, um, you know, that's probably one thing that, that has changed since my last time in Scotland is the experience and um, kind of character that, that, that I've kind of become as well since, since those, you know, kind of four or five years ago when I was last in Scotland. Do you feel you, you've got more to give, though? Do you, do you feel that you and the club, the players, can go up another year? Obviously, you have lost the last two games. Yeah, listen, I think, you know, as you say, it's, you, you can look at the last two results, but before that, we were on a fantastic run of results and performances. And as you say, it's about hitting form at the right um, moments in the season. And, and, you know, obviously that four four or five wins out of six games, I think it was before the last two, helped propel us up into the position that we're in now. Of course, we're disappointed with the last two games, but we can't really dwell on that too much. We've got to focus on, on what we were doing right before that. And, um, you know, these next two games are going to be massively important going into, obviously, the split, which is always key. But, you know, these final two games could, could really help us, uh, you know, push us into a, a really strong position going into those games.